somewhere to stay just north of Toronto with a lot of activity around, you can check out the Hilton Garden Inn in Thornhill. restaurants right across there. Uh, there's everything from Asian to American to Mediterranean food, so that's good to see. And this is a really big area for all kinds of commerce and things like that. You'll find lots of restaurants and shopping and other things around here. Lots of businesses have their offices in this area. So let's go inside and have a look around. There's a nice little lounge area as soon as we walk in. More of a dining area on the other side. I know they serve breakfast, I'm not sure what else is there. Your front desk where we have the nicest people in all of Ontario working. Right? Bar if you wanted to partake in some festivities there. We'll head down the hall and I'll show you where we have some conference rooms that they regularly rent out for uh, different functions and things all the time. Public telephone. I don't know how common those are anymore. Forgive me for not taking you into the rooms. I'm not sure if they've got anything going on in there right now or not. But you can see they've got lots of space in here. Restrooms here. Little fitness center that we have that can be used. And a pool if you wanted to go swimming. Hot tub as well. By the elevators, there's a small business center if you needed to use a computer. Okay, so we're heading to the room. This is nice enough here. They got things like this all over the place. Our room is 616. Got the key, so. Let's have a look inside. So it's a nice enough looking room, pretty much as you'd expect. Obviously this is the two double, two or queen beds I guess, is what we're looking at for today. Just taking a look at the closet. They're gonna give you lots of hangers. Looks like an extra blanket and pillows and stuff up there. Doesn't come with a free jacket, that's mine. I already put that in there. And a safe for your belongings. Something to put your food trays on. They got a little kitchenette in here, which I actually wasn't expecting. So that's a nice surprise. Um, some water. No, nope, those are $2. Um, but luckily, we've already been in here. And I know that the fridge has a couple of bottles of water that we've put in there. So that's okay. Uh, coffee, not sure I'm not much of a coffee drinker, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much. And it's nice to see that there's a microwave. I don't tend to use it, but we could if we wanted to. And then, this is nice to see, that's our stuff of course, but the uh, little bench you have and a place for your shoes. Joining rooms if you've got more people. And of course the standard motel art on the wall. Flat screen TV, which isn't the smallest one I've seen either. So that's nice to see. We'll see what kind of storage we've got underneath here. That's great if you're gonna stay for a couple of days, you got stuff to 
enough room to put all your stuff. And then they've got their standard books and phone and a lamp for you. Plug your cell phone in and whatnot. Air conditioning. We've got a view of the beautiful 404 freeway and I guess by the time you get a room over here maybe that development will started to have filled in and we'll be interested to see what's going to be in there. They got enough lamps and things all over the place. It's nice to have these by the bed if you wanted to read or whatever you were going to do. Another phone, so that's interesting. I've never seen two phones in a room this size before. Remote control and a little bit of storage under the nightstand for you. And thermostat so we can control and we'll head into the bathroom and have a look at what's happening in here. This looks nice enough. Your standard handful of towels. Decent shower head, probably with a few different settings and adjustments. More towels, that's nice. And everything looks clean enough and nice enough. You've got your soap, shampoo, a shower cap, and things like that. And of course a hair dryer, which is standard in most places, I think. Standard, of course, in every room they've got the emergency exit plan. So you can have a quick look at that. And it's also interesting to notice the checkout time is 12. Most places are 11 o'clock, so that's nice to see. And of course I'll be asking for a late checkout of one. In with my key, I see that they've given us our information about the restaurant downstairs. And it turns out that they have breakfast and dinner and in-room, room service of course. Uh, the bar's open until 11. And then if I flip this over, we have our Wi-Fi that you can get into once you've got your room here. They got lots of electrical and USB outlets all over this room. Well, there's just an example of a couple, so they're very prepared for uh, people carrying a lot of electronic devices these days. So that's a look at the room. If you're wondering what to do at the Hilton Garden Inn in Richmond Hill, You've just had a look. Well, it says the ice machine's down here. I don't know if they have one on every floor, but we'll head down here and just have a look. I noticed the ice bucket. You probably did too. It was in the little kitchenette area. So if I want to grab some ice, I guess I'm going to come down here and do it. Oh, there we are. That's a look at the Hilton Garden Inn in Florida Hill, just barely north of Toronto. And uh, hopefully you liked the video, hopefully you got some value out of it. If you did, leave a comment, let me know what other things you know that are in the area around here that people could do, and we'll share the information amongst each other. And I will see you next time on the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bash that bell and turn notifications on. See you next time.